Hello, so how much money do you need to get on the air? How about four dollars? Less than the price of a coffee. Uh, it's possible, I just did it. I ordered a Chinese Pixie transceiver and that was 3.5 euros actually, uh, less than four dollars, uh, shipping included, so I don't know how they do it. Anyway, uh, here I'm putting it together. It's a very simple kit. Uh, not many features. Uh, you don't have a key, for instance, so uh, you have to use a straight key. You also can't hear your side tone, so uh, it's a bit weird at the beginning, but uh, I thought it was going to be a problem. It didn't bother me at all. Uh, you can actually imagine the tone in your head and uh, keep on sending, and uh, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, the uh, kit only has two transistors, it has an audio amplifier chip, three diodes, a bunch of uh, resistors, a bunch of capacitors, uh, and a few uh, inductances. There are no um, toroids to wind, although I don't know why people don't like them. I like winding toroids, I think it's very relaxing, it's kind of zen. Uh, it's, uh, if you can count, you can wind a toroid. So, uh, power is uh, from uh, 300 to 500 milliwatts. I think it's probably closer to 300 milliwatts. Now, you're going to think, well, I'm never going to make a contact with 300 milliwatts. Well, you would be very surprised if you just tried. Uh, I've made contacts uh, 800 miles away with 100 milliwatts. So, if the uh, propagation is uh, cooperating uh, that day, uh, you won't have any trouble, believe me. And uh, I actually uh, had uh, surprising results uh, with this kit. Uh, keep watching the video. So um, uh, let's compare this to, uh, say, a Rockmite, uh, another kit that I really, uh, really like. Uh, the Rockmite uh, is also a crystal-controlled uh, transceiver. Uh, it is really better than the Pixie. I mean, uh, the Pixie. Uh, so, well, some people call it, uh, you know, uh, dismal, a really bad kit but uh, I don't think so. Uh, it works pretty well. Um, it doesn't have any filtering, but uh, neither does the Rockmite. Uh, the Rockmite does have a Kia, of course. It's about the same power, and it's a more sophisticated kit, uh, probably more uh, sensitive also uh, uh, receiving. But the Pixie uh, does transmit, and uh, it does receive. Um, so it's, uh, I mean, it's less than 12 times the price of a Rockmite. So, for a first project, uh, I think it's really good. I mean, you could buy five or six, <laughs> it wouldn't matter. Uh, if you uh, mess one up, uh, who cares? Uh, you just throw it in the trash. Now, the advantage, of course, is uh, the simplicity and uh, the weight of lack thereof. Uh, you can put uh, a small transceiver like this in your shirt pocket in a tiny case and uh, wouldn't take any space and you wouldn't even feel it so I plan on uh, getting a simple single band uh, and fed transceiver transceiver no <laughs> tuner uh, 65 feet of wire which is a half wave on 40 meter and uh, that's all I'm going to use for an antenna and uh, half wave and feds uh, are very uh, efficient so uh, even a small uh, transceiver like this uh, outputting uh, 300 milliwatts uh, is going to be plenty. Uh, I probably will use a single push button for the key and uh, eight AA cells for, uh, to, to power it up. Uh, there really isn't much else to it. I really like the fact that uh, all the jacks are on the board, so uh, there are no wires to mess, uh, to mess with. Uh, that makes for a pretty clean uh, build. Uh, other than that, uh, well, there isn't much else. <laughs> I really had surprising results uh, results with it uh, using the uh, reverse beacon network, which is a series of uh, automated stations that uh, receive uh, Morse code from uh, 
uh, all the amateur bands and uh, publish them on the internet so you can actually see uh, where you end up even if nobody answers your calls so I had uh, quite a few uh, reports on the uh, reverse uh, beacon network and uh, well that's it now uh, you're going to see um, the uh, transceiver uh, after I finished it and then uh, I'm going to put it on the air uh, try to call and uh, you'll see that uh, really you get a lot for four dollars I mean hell I'll probably buy uh, three or four uh, extras just in case I lose one uh, it, it's that cheap I mean um, just incredible so uh, there we go uh, oops my battery ran out so um, you won't see the rest of it but uh, anyway it would be too long uh, here is the finished product. Uh, you see it's really nice, really tiny. And uh, let's see how it performs uh, on the air now. So it's definitely receiving. I'm trying to answer the uh, CQ here, but uh, it doesn't hear me. It's very little power, probably, uh, as I mentioned, uh, 300 to 500 milliwatts. I put my uh, Kent key on the side here, so I can use it uh, as a straight key. I hope to uh, make at least one contact and uh, maybe uh, or, or be heard on the uh, reverse beacon network that would work fine too. He definitely doesn't hear me. Uh, station from Germany, so probably uh, a few hundred miles away. I'm gonna try to call. We'll see if uh, the uh, reverse beacon network reports anything. And yes, uh, three contacts, I mean three uh, reports on the uh, reverse beacon network, two from Germany and one from uh, England. Let's try again. If you uh, look at all the stations on the left column, except for the last one, all are from the Pixie and uh, a few hundred miles away. Some reported my calls at plus 13, plus 12 decibels over the noise level, which is amazing for such a tiny kit uh, with 300 milliwatts. I mean, uh, that's pretty far. Uh, so I'm very happy with the uh, Pixie and, uh, you know, for the price, I mean, uh, it's a good project.